Wild About the Zoo is presented by the Hutchinson News in partnership with the Hutchinson Zoo. Hi, welcome to Wild About the Zoo. My name is Adam Stewart. I'm a reporter with the Hutchinson News. And with me today is Shannon Evans. She's a zookeeper here at the Hutchinson Zoo. And today we're talking about how the, the zoo feeds all of the different animals that they have here. Um, Shannon, uh, just a little bit ago, you were putting out some, some tree branches for the, the deer here in this exhibit. Um, how, how big of a, a part of their diet is that? Uh, maybe half-ish, uh, the browse itself, um, and then they also get a pelleted diet, so they kind of get buckets, like the bison we were looking at earlier, they kind of get buckets of pellets as well, and then they also get carrots and apples, um, so they kind of get all three of those every day as, in addition to the browse over there, so okay. pretty big part of their diet, kind of. Is that a, a fairly normal thing for the, the animals here in the zoo is to have you know, a bunch of different things as part of their, yeah. their meal plan? Yeah, so pretty much every animal, almost every animal has you know a pelleted diet and then they also have produce um, and then the meat eaters get a variation of um, kind of this ground up meat that has vitamins and minerals and all that good stuff and then um, they also get either rats or mice or whole prey like that as well. half a bucket of alfalfa pellets every morning. Um, I also give them a bale of hay. If they finish that by the end of the day, I'll give them a second near the end of the day. They're actually pretty relatively docile until they all get hyped up. And as big as they are, they can kind of sneak up on you too. So when you're in there cleaning, it's good to keep one eye on where they are and <laughs> one eye on the piles of That sitting bull here, he's our dominant male. Pretty much everybody acts accordingly to what he needs first. So let's say all of them are lined up and he hasn't gotten over here yet. When he comes, everybody just kind of does this musical chair circle. He sets the tone, for sure. He's got the widest horns. Wild bull right there. Anyway, he gets tooled around a lot. So everyone pushes Wild Bill out of the way. So I always try to make sure Wild Bill gets a little extra. Yeah. That's a natural behavior that they would do in the wild would be if they kind of caught a live mouse, they kind of beat it against a rock until it's kind of knocked out and then they can just go ahead and eat it whole. And then it's a little easier for them to kind of digest it. like fish that are more straight instead of curved and bent. And these ones are a little bit colder. They have a little bit of ice on them still from, they come frozen when we first get them and we have to thaw them. So when we thaw them, the fish loses some nutrients so we have to put some supplements onto the fish. As you can see, the turtles like to line up and catch any of the food that the pelicans drop. 